Hey guys, I completed Chloe Ting's two week shred challenge. Throughout this video, I will provide some quick tips and honest feedback for those of you who are interested in doing this challenge too. I was curious to see how drastic my body changes would be. Here are some of my pictures from before the workout challenge. There are plenty of people who have told me I don't need a workout because I am too thin. If you don't already know, being thin and being fit are two different things. Since we've been quarantined at home due to the pandemic, I figured now would be the best time to try to get fit. So with that said, let's get started! Here are some of my videos from week 1. Week 1 was definitely a challenge. Even though you may struggle on day 1, don't lose motivation. Keep pushing through. You got this. Tip number 1 is to pay attention to your form. At the beginning, I was mainly focused on trying to match Chloe's pace in her videos instead of concentrating on my form. This is a big no-no. Form is everything when you're working out, so you want to make sure that your form is good even if it means you have to slow down your pace. Although Chloe provides very helpful instructions in her videos, she does not always provide guidance on what the proper form is to have on each exercise. If you're ever uncertain, you should look it up. If you do exercises incorrectly, you might not be working out the right muscle groups or, worst case scenario, it can lead to injury. This is how my body looked after week 1. As you can see, the fat around my stomach has slightly decreased and my ab lines are a bit more defined. Oh, and I got a haircut. This change is not drastic, but it really shouldn't be anyways since one week has passed. Realistically, if you're aiming for 6 pack abs, it won't happen overnight and it won't happen without a proper diet. This leads me to tip number 2. Watch your diet if you're really trying to shed weight and showcase your muscles. If you are consuming unhealthy foods all meals of the day, every day, you can forget about these workouts giving you good results. At best, you might be netting out your calories. Personally, I did not diet during the 2 week shred challenge because I wanted to see the results of doing this challenge while keeping my daily routine and lifestyle the same. I ate how I normally ate and I didn't cut out carbs. In fact, I still enjoyed my weekly boba runs and ice cream but I did not increase my consumption of these guilty pleasures either. Since I was working out regularly, my appetite grew, but I found healthier snacks to satisfy my hunger. This is how my body looked in the middle of the second week. There aren't huge changes from week one, but my abs are more defined here. My love handles shrank a little bit and my arms lost some fat. My body overall slimmed down from day one, so there are clear results from doing this two week shred challenge without having to change anything else in your life. I have three words for tip number three, mind, muscle, connection. When I first started this challenge, I was simply following the workouts I was watching from the videos. In all honesty, some of the exercises had me wondering what muscles I was even trying to work out. Actually, this one here is an example. Was it my legs I was supposed to feel it in? My abs? My arms? The reason why mind-muscle connection is so crucial is that it really helps you hone in specifically on the muscles you're targeting. As a result, your workouts are actually more effective. For example, these side plank pulls really think about your side abs and squeeze them. Your obliques should be burning. For these push-up shoulder taps, you should be squeezing your abs tight the whole time and feeling the burn in your core, arms, chest, and back. I feel that it's better to focus more on mind-muscle connection than to do more reps without thinking about which muscle groups you're trying to work out. Oh, and I wanted to highlight this because I look just as uncoordinated as Chloe. One of the good things about Chloe's two week shred challenge is that it doesn't just work out your abs. There are exercises here to work out your lower body as well as your upper body. She even includes some cardio and HIIT workouts to shed some of that body fat. Look how defined my back is here. I did not have that deep dip when I first started this challenge. On day 13, my body was significantly more toned. All of those back lines and ab lines you're seeing, they're from this workout challenge. Honestly, lighting plays a big factor too. 
Tip number four, don't be discouraged if you don't have well-defined muscles in your pictures. Sometimes it's really all just lighting. As the 14 days came to an end, I was really thankful for it to finally be over. I actually didn't like all of the workouts in this challenge and I would have preferred mixing some other home workouts in. However, I was amazed to see the results. Here are some of my before and after shots. Although I did not feel myself getting stronger every single day, I could say for certain that I felt much stronger on day 14 than I did on day 1. Seeing the results made it worth the 2 week struggle. I hope this video has been very helpful to you. Don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel to see more.